Boys and girls, Crafty Carol here with a brand new craft for you right here at Cool School. Today I'm getting my inspiration from, let me give you a clue. I'm gonna ride, I'm riding free. It's a ride! We're doing a spirit riding treat for you. A super cute horse notebook. What do you need to make this craft? Well, I'll tell you. A notebook. Some felt, I've got black, brown, and white, furry material, scissors, you might need some markers, pencil, and some glue. Now I'm using hot glue, you can use regular school glue, you know the rule. Grown up supervision is required. Let's get to crafting! I have chosen, as you see, this pink notebook. You can do whatever color notebook you want. You can get a regular spiral notebook and then you can cover the front with paint or really cool contact paper or construction paper. I'm gonna start with my felt. I'm gonna do a brown horse, you know, like Spirit. I don't know if you guys have checked out That's the Spirit on YouTube. That is a show hosted by my friends Hallie and Rosa and they're all about horses and of course they love Spirit Riding Free. This was a gift to me from Rosa. I want it so much, they can be my model. This felt color is the closest, so that's the one we're gonna use. Watch out, don't run into the scissors. Play time is over, it's crafting time, this is serious. Take a piece of felt, and I'm just gonna sketch out a horse shape. I'm gonna do the head. I'm not gonna do the whole horse body. First of all, mark the borders of our notebook so that we don't make our horse head too big and it doesn't fit on the notebook. I'm just gonna sketch. I'm okay at drawing horses. If you wanna see more about drawing horses, I'm just gonna plug my buddies one more time. It's the spirit on YouTube. Check it out, they have a whole video about how to draw a horse. I should have watched it one more time before I did this video. Oh my gosh, right, what was I talking about? I'm totally an expert at drawing horses. This is great. I'm gonna cut this out. There is our horse. Wait, Carol, hold up. What's the deal? Why don't you have a mane for that horse? Well, it's gonna be the main event here. So I have a couple of different horse fabrics. This one that I love because it's got a little different coloration going on. Ooh, kinda looks like a little toupee. Hit like if you love my hair piece. And this is how I will look when I get very old. Hello there, boys and girls. I think I mostly wanna work with this stuff. I like this. Put the glue gun in. While we're waiting for our hot glue gun to heat up, let's have an old fashioned steering contest. That's right, we'll do this Wild West style since we're celebrating spirit riding free. Western music, please. It's good. All right, you ready, partner? One, two, three, go. I felt like I was out there riding in the desert. All right, oh, our glue's getting hot. Okie dokie. Smurge that down there. I'm using my pencil to smooth it down after I glue it so that I don't stick my finger right in the hot glue. I am going to not glue this part down yet because there is a chance I might want to stick some of the hair behind. So I'm gonna trim this a little bit. And when you cut this stuff, it's gonna get messy. It is already looking so good. Can do a little forelock. Oh, this is looking so cool. I'm loving it. We're not done yet. A little extra lip, so we're gonna add some here at the bottom. We're gonna have our mane extend beyond the notebook. We're putting outside the lines, people. So maybe no horse's mane totally looks like, like that in real life, but I think they should. I'm gonna take a brown marker. I'm gonna add a little bit of detailing. We need an eye so our horsey can see. And you can do this with markers too. I'm making one circle in brown that's a little bigger than the circle in black. Whoa! There you have it, boys and girls! Your very own super easy, super cute, super fuzzy horse notebook. Now, we are to the most important part of our process here. Naming the horse! What are we gonna name this girl? Got a few ideas. We could do Crafty Meryl, Wonder Womane, Womane, get it? Or how about Miss Hoofsy? Well, hey there, boys and girls. Crafty Carol here with a brand new craft for you right here at Cool School. And speaking of school, it's back to school time. 
And I know a lot of you guys like back to school crafts. So I'm gonna do another back to school craft. We've done a lot of pencil crafts recently. We did the emoji pencil topper and the little mermaid pencil topper. And we've done so many more. So I wanna do a pencil craft today. And then at the end of this video, you can watch some of our classic pencil videos. Got a Chewbacca pencil topper in there, superheroes, some frozen pencil toppers. Frozen, still in style, holding strong. All right, so let's see what's in my craft box. We got a handy new cool looking glue gun, all right. I got some pencils here, lots of washi tape, some letter charms. Let's do our washi tape pencil first because that's gonna be so super easy. All you gotta do is pick out which washi tape we wanna use. You just wrap it around there and you can tear it off the bottom. Of course, you're gonna sharpen your pencil. Check it out. Now we've got an awesome, cool, new custom pencil. All right, I'm gonna do another one. I'm gonna do this one with washi tape and our letter charms. I'm gonna go with these pretty flowers. I made a Pokemon pencil case one time using duct tape. That was a lot of fun. You can just make sure your whole pencil is covered. And then you just tear it at the bottom. And you don't have to worry about getting it perfect because like I said, you're gonna sharpen your pencil anyway. You can put our name on it. So should I do Glitter Queen or Crafty Carol? I'm gonna do Crafty Carol. I'm gonna do Crafty Carol. So I need a C R A F. You help me out, help me out, what's next? T Y C A R O, and last, the L. How's our hot glue, is it getting hot? So let's just put our, pin our name right down the side here. And you know my rules with glue guns, you be careful. And there you have it, boys and girls, the most easy DIY back to school craft pretty much ever, covered in washi tape, which is kind of one of my new favorite things, and personalized with some letter beads, say Crafty Carol. So get down there in the comments, tell me what craft you want to see next, and tell me what craft I should make for Miss Buxy. Subscribe, and stay tuned, because you got more back to school awesomeness coming up. Well, hey there, boys and girls. Time for another fun craft here with Crafty Carol at Cool School. I don't know if you've seen the film Frozen, but you probably have, because like a billion people have seen it already. It's a big blockbuster of the year. So let's do an Olaf-inspired craft. Snowman pencil toppers. Da da da! I made mine out of super simple materials. Styrofoam balls, something sticky. I got duct tape. You're gonna need a nose, but you know, not just this nose, you're gonna need a snowman nose. I made mine out of a little orange kitchen sponge. Sharpies, pencils, twisty ties, paper clips, and some cardstock, and scissors. Be careful with your scissors. That wasn't safe what I just did. I could have cut someone's ponytail right off. Wouldn't have been good. But keep your ponytail out of my crafting area. Olaf is not just any typical round-headed snowman, though. I've already crafted this snowman head to look a little more like Olaf. I've got his cheeks there. You can just mash it with your thumbs. Make a nice indentation there. You can use scissors to shave some of it off and just smooth it. So what I did, I drew a couple different eyes, a couple different mouths. I'm just gonna pick which one I like the best. Get this right here. Now I'm gonna cut out the mouth. I like this mouth right here. Got her mouth, got her eyes. Looks pretty good. Once you get your eyes and your mouth, I took a little paper clip and I'm twisting it and bending it out. See like this? I bent it out and I'm gonna bend this out straight. Here's where our sticky stuff comes in. Use some duct tape here, put it around the paper clip. Stick these eyes right there. Oh, and this is also handy if you're going to the opera. And I'm gonna stick the eyes. Ow! We're looking good now, because we can, you know, look. All right, so it's the exact same process for the mouth. You got our paper clip, and wrap it up. Stick our mouth onto that. Oh my goodness, look how much it looks like Olaf. 
So, what's Olaf missing now? Oh, just, uh, I don't know. Got this orange sponge here. Cut a little piece of it like this. Just using my pencil here to make a little hole to get the nose started. Olaf is looking pretty good. There's one thing missing though. Olaf has a little sprig of hair on top. Yes, he does. So that's where our twisty ties come in. There's one little sprig. Another one. And let's give him one more. One last step, and then you're uh, you're in business for being awesome. So here you go, kids. Just pretty much the best pencil topper you ever saw. Well, hey there, kids. Crafty Carol here with a brand new craft for you right here at Cool School. Oh, what's that? It's a bird. No, it's a plane. No, it's Super Carol here to make some superhero crafts today. That's right. We're going to make superhero pencil toppers. And be sure to stay tuned to the very end because I'm gonna tell you how you can write your very own Cool School episode that we play on the Cool School channel right here. So A, let's get to making this craft, and B, be thinking of what you're gonna write your story about. So what do you need to make this craft? Let's go down the list. I got scissors, I got some red and black felt for my capes, I got some yellow construction paper, pencil top erasers, I got some pencils, a marker, and some glue. Put on your capes, get your shields, and let's get crafting. All right, so let's get started with our Batman pencil topper first. First thing I want to do is measure out my piece of felt here. So I'm going to take this eraser. I'm just going to kind of roll it over until I see I can get my eraser 100% covered. I'm just going to cut out that size of piece of felt. See how if I roll it up, it covers the eraser? That's what you want. Okay, now I'm going to cut out my bat ears. Cut two triangles until I got a little piece like this. See? Okay, so we got our ears cut out right here. We've got our eraser. Now we're just going to glue this onto this. Get it all smothered in glue. Yeah, I'm just gonna wrap this around. Yeah, and I got that glued on and look at that. I got a Batman head right here. Na 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 bat head. All right. So I'm just gonna set that aside right there. He's gonna look over my crafting table and know what kind of crime we would have around here. Maybe somebody comes along and tries to steal my crafting supplies. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a cape for our little Batman, our little cape crusader here. I'm just gonna start with a rectangle of felt, and then I'm gonna make this into more of a triangle. Not quite a triangle, but almost. And then to make a hole for our pencil top, I'm gonna fold over the top, and then I'm gonna make just a tiny, just the tiniest little cut there. Just the, the tiniest that your even, like your pinky finger will barely even fit through. We're almost done with our Batman pencil topper here. I'm gonna add a little bat to this yellow. I'm just gonna freestyle it. Okay, that's looking pretty awesome. All right, so I'm gonna take a yellow pencil here because, you know, Batman's colors are yellow and black. I'm gonna take my cape, just gonna pop that. That's why we have that just tiny little hole. Now let's just pop this right on top. Check it out. Oh my gosh, it's a super pencil. So now let's make a Superman pencil topper. Why not? Let's go ahead and make the cape. You pretty much know how to do that. Remember, we're gonna fold it over at the top and then we're gonna make the tiny, just the tiniest little cut right here. Oh, it's so tiny, it's so cute. All right, so that's our cape. Batman, watch that. Don't let the penguin or the joker come along and, and steal Superman's cape. So then I'm gonna take a black pen here. I'm just gonna draw a Superman face. So Superman, it's all about the hair. You know what I mean, he's got that little swoop, that little curl that hangs down right there. He probably spends hours trying to get that curl just right. Using all of Lois Lane's mousse and hairspray, trying to get that perfect little curl. When you see pictures of Superman from the comics, he's always got a stern mouth. Guess there's no smiling when you're a superhero. I don't know why they never smile. The Joker smiles. I don't know why Batman or, or Superman can't smile. I mean, you know, he's, He's crazy, he's, he's a little bit Looney Tunes, but you know, he's got a smile on his face. Well, there you go, we got a, little, got a little Superman here. 
We're gonna need a shield. That's why I got this yellow construction paper. And to make the Superman shield just a little, oh my gosh, we're dealing with shapes again. What's this shape called? And I'm gonna take my red marker here and I'm just gonna outline my shape with an unknown name. And then I'm gonna draw an S in there. And let's cut that out. It's super tiny, so be careful. And I'm just gonna glue that onto our Superman. Check him out. All right, he's starting to look super. He's got a shield and everything. I'll put my cape on. Cool, all right, check that out. Well, super duper, we got two superhero pencil toppers here. We got Batman, we got Superman. What's better than that? Well, you probably tell me in the comments. Superman comes to save the day and then Batman shows up and he's he's all <laughs> Well hey there boys and girls Crafty Carol here with a brand no craft for ya. Today's craft is intergalactically awesome because we are doing that's right. <laughs> Star Wars craft. Today we're making Chewbacca pencil toppers. And everybody knows Chewbacca is like the best Wookiee that there is. He's Wookiee of the year. And you might have also noticed that I'm rocking some pretty stylish hair right now. That's right. I got some Princess Leia buns here. They're not cinnamon rolls. Oh, I kind of wish these were cinnamon rolls because I'd just take one down, take a little bite and just put it right back there. Bite on the backside so I'd still look camera ready. Let's get making this craft. Enough about my hair, come on. So what do you need to make this craft? I've got some brown fur, some white paint, black felt, scissors, some googly eyes, a pencil, a brown marker, glue, and one little piece of twine. I wonder what time it is in a galaxy far, far away. Definitely in a different time zone, but I guarantee you that somewhere out in space, it's craft o'clock. May the force be with me today as I show you this craft. So the first thing we're gonna do is, this fur I get, it's really nice, but it's a little bit light. That's why I have a brown marker. So if you've got some nice brown fur, you don't need this. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna give Chewbacca some low lights, that's right. Ever since I got my hair done in a different style, I'm just like total hair diva. Let's just add some nice brown here. Actually, I'm kind of sounding like a Wookiee with my voice today. I'm like halfway there to the, having to have Han Solo translate for me. <gasps> I'm showing you how to make a Chewbacca, but it'd be pretty cool to have a Yoda pencil topper because then if you find yourself confused while you're taking a pop quiz, you just be like, hey Yoda, help me out. He'd be like, be the answer is. And you'd be like, oh, awesome. Thanks, Yoda. I think we might have enough awesome brown fur here. It's looking pretty good. I got fur all over my marker. That's done. I'm just gonna not use that marker ever again. I'm gonna see if that's enough. So I'm gonna wrap it around. Oh yeah. Oh, that's perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim off the rest of this. Alrighty. I'm gonna dab a little glue here. And I'm just gonna roll the chewy around. And we've got a cool little little fuzzy guy right here. So I'm gonna set that aside so it dries. But we are gonna make Chewbacca's little shoulder strap. So I'm just gonna cut. Oh yeah, that looks like a good size for a shoulder sash. And Chewie's got little pouches. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna dab my sponge in this white paint here. I'm just gonna make some little stripes. Oh yeah, that's gonna look good. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut a tiny little slit. This is probably a job for a grown-up because it's dealing with scissors really close to your fingers. So I've got a little hole here that I can stick this other side through. All right, so let's let that dry and let's see how our little Chewy is doing over here. The glue's working pretty well. So we're gonna use this twine to make a head for Chewbacca, kind of like we did with our corn husk dolls. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then check out my corn husk video with Basho. It was amazing. So we've got a little neck there and I'm gonna trim it. All right, so our little Wookiee here is almost ready for some eyes, but you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the pencil. So there we go. So that makes it a little easier for me to work, actually. So let's glue on some eyes here. Ooh, that's looking cool. All right. 
Okay, so we got our little googly eyes on here. We're gonna set that aside and let that dry. I don't have anything else to do right now except, I don't know, maybe an old fashioned staring contest. That's right, and watch out because I might be using some Jedi mind tricks on you over there. So, all right, three, two, one, and go. I haven't practiced in a while. I used to train like every day, just staring in the mirror. They'd be like, Carol, what are you doing in the bathroom in there? Come on out. And I'll be like, I'm busy. Let's see, our Wookiee's eyes look pretty dry here. Oh, you wanna challenge this guy to a staring contest? He'll stare at you all day long. Let's put on this little, little sash. He probably doesn't call it a little sash, but he probably just calls it a <sighs> And I'm going to poke this other end through the hole that we made there. Doom, 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 doom. Dun, 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 Oh yeah, he's strutting. He's working the runway. That's right. And there you have it, boys and girls. A Chewbacca pencil topper. It's super easy, super awesome, and super fuzzy. But beware, if you show up to school with this, everybody's going to want one, and you're going to have to either make a bunch of Wookiee pencil toppers, or you're just going to have to be like, hey, I saw one Crafty Carol at Cool School. Check it out. So that's okay. You can do that. You can always share my videos. I don't mind.